All right, it's chamber time. People get a little freaked out about reshaping chambers in a DI port, and I've actually had no problems with it. And what we're gonna do is, you see there's a lot of sharp edges around the exhaust, all up in here. Now, this particular head, or I should say its brother, has issues with it cracking in this area. And I think that's because, A, the spark plug sits out really far, and there's a lot of sharp edges, so it creates a hot spot. And over here too, so this is going to create um, issues where it's just not gonna flow very well, so we're gonna blend it all in. We're not gonna really take a lot of material out, we're just gonna soften the whole thing up, and that way you can run more timing and more boost. This is what we're gonna use for blending in the valve seat. So the valve job's done, and we don't want to touch the valve job. We have a valve that is razor sharp. Now, a lot of guys freak out. Oh my gosh, you're gonna ruin the valve. Well, that's exactly what we do here. We ruin valves, we take the 45, makes it razor sharp, and that way, when you put them in here, it blends right into the valve seat. It's very sharp, right to the seat, and now you can blend it completely and totally to the top cut. First thing I'm gonna use is the Head Games quarter inch deburr burr. Now, usually we use this just for deburring stuff, but I use it for many other things, including getting the hard to get spots like this right here, this right here, and all up in the corners here because it's really hard to do with any other burr. And this way, once I get this roughed out, I can blend it in with the bigger burr. Next up, I'm gonna use the Head Games Half Inch Super Spiral Burr with a Makita GD0603 grinder. I'm gonna blend it, the rest of it in with the Head Games 3 8 Double Cut Burr. So first thing I'm gonna do is hit it with a 60 grit cartridge roll on the air grinder. So I'm using a Clico air grinder and that is gonna blow all of the uh, materials from sanding. It's gonna blow it away from you. So I never use electric grinder when I'm sanding. Uh, just too messy. So I'm gonna hit it with the 60 grit roll. Then I'm gonna hit it with this 3M product. So what we did is, is a sanding disc and it usually takes up the entire backside of the disc. And what we did is we just modified it so it only has this little piece. And I do that because now it's malleable. So we're going to be able to do this to it. And it's going to get in all the little crevices. And it will get rid of any bumps. And it will get rid of any marks in the combustion chamber that we can't get with the cartridge roll. Then we hit it with a 120 grit cartridge roll just to get some marks in it. Make sure that it gets the right color. And this is going to leave some glue. And when it leaves glue, what we'll do is hit it with by hand, or you can do it, we actually make a tool, and uh, we hit it with some scotch spray just to get rid of all the glue.
guys will see some grinding marks here, still here. And that's because I really couldn't get it with the cartridge roll. It's just not sharp enough. And uh, that's where I'm gonna hit it with that sanding disc and we will be uh, all fine and dandy. You guys seen, I still went off. Not a big deal. This head's getting milled, so I wouldn't worry about sacrificial stuff like that. It's just cosmetic and uh, just part of the job sometimes. You're pushing really hard here and you'll come off. Um, but here we are, we look like a mess. What we're ready to do now is hit it with a 120 grit. So it's dirty, it's all done. You see, I made this flat again. Now don't be uh, alarmed that I hit the spark plug hole and uh, everything's blended right into the top cut of the valve job and we softened this thing all up. So if you compare it to stock over here, you can see how much, I didn't take out, but also I did. I just reshaped stuff and this way when it gets milled, it'll go right back to stock. All right, that does it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.